Hello and welcome to Megawatt, where each week we give you the lowdown on the latest piece of kit from the world of technology and gadgets. This week we've hopped on a plane and come to the biggest consumer technology show in the world. Yes, that's right, we're at CES Las Vegas to find out what's going to be big, hot and exciting for 2009. Stay tuned. So, Samsung's answer to the iPod Touch is the Samsung P3, and here it is. It's a small touchscreen MP3 player that offers haptic control, so when I touch the screen I get a little buzz, and also games as well. Now, you can scroll through the different areas. There's widgets, so I can choose games, for example, and go back. I can... Uh, And then there's also even it works subway maps of every city in the world. So you can do Europe, we can go London, and then all of a sudden we've got all the major stations for the tube, which is pretty cool. can uh, pull up other bits, look at some pictures, just scroll through. Now elsewhere there's a little speaker on the top, so if I can come out of here and play some music, see what we got in here. Maybe a bit of uh, Destiny's Child, I don't know why. So that's playing. Now if I put it next to my speaker you should be able to hear that quite clearly. It's loud enough. I mean, it's not going to be loud enough to start a party, but certainly if you're a little kid on the back of a bus and you don't want to annoy everybody else, this is going to be one of the things to do it. We can go through and we can check albums, songs, we can play playlists. It obviously just scrolls through. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't have something, it doesn't have a feature or anything like Genius from Apple or the SenseMe product from um, Sony Ericsson. However, you can obviously just choose tracks by genre, playlist. Um, albums, things like that. Available later in the year, that's the Samsung P3.